Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a brand new musical review. Last night I was invited by Birmingham Hippodrome to the press night of Waitress, the musical that is currently touring the UK. As always, I'll leave a link in the down bar below so you can go check it out, see if it's visiting a city near you. If you've been subscribed for a while, you will know that I've done a ton of musical reviews. So I'll leave a link to the playlist somewhere on the screen and also in the description box so you can go check it out and see what other shows I've been to see and my thoughts and feelings on them. And with that being said, let's get into this review. First of all, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Birmingham Hippodrome for inviting me. I, I know I say it every time, but I genuinely am so excited when I receive that invite. It means the world to me. Going to see live shows, music, musicals, it's just my favourite thing in the world. So to get to go and see the show and film these reviews for you guys, it's just... It, it blows my mind and I'm just ever so grateful. Before we get into the actual review, I just want to show you these because these are literally the cutest. So upon arrival last night, we got given our goodie bag, which had the program in for the musical, but it also had these amazing cookies that look like little pies. They are so incredible. And I think Mr. P wanted to eat it straight away. I was like, no. Not until I filmed the video. I'll wait to eat it later with a cup of tea. Question number one, have I seen this musical before? Answer, yes, back in January 2020, me and Mr. P went to the West End for our birthday. So the second time I've seen the show, but the first time seeing it as a touring production, which I'm just gonna say, I feel like sometimes some shows that you see in the West End, and then if you see them, if they tour, they're very like downscaled, whereas this wasn't at all. It was pretty much scene for scene, exactly the same. Question number two is plotline of the story. I'm just gonna read this off the website because it just explains it so much better than I probably ever could. So meet Jenna, a waitress and expert pie maker who dreams of some happiness in her life. When a hot new doctor arrives in town, life gets complicated. With the support of her workmates, Becky and Dawn, Jenna overcomes the challenges she faces and finds that laughter, love and friendship can provide the perfect recipe for happiness. I don't wanna give it away too much because I know a lot of people are going to see the show, but that is basically what happens in a nutshell. And it really covers some really humorous, funny, but also difficult kind of subjects to talk about. But I feel that we are becoming more aware of as a human race. It talks about domestic abuse. Again, just shows how important it is to have that support around you, have friends, have colleagues, have anyone that you can kind of go and vent to about how you're really feeling. Um, and even more so nowadays, you know, we know how important it is to kind of talk about how we're feeling. So this musical really just bring it home and talks about, you know, difficult subjects that happen, unfortunately, every day here in the real world. I know that sounds really dark and dull, but believe me, the story is like really funny, really heartfelt and really just bring home some hard hitting messages, but it does make you leave feeling really grateful and humble for what you have. Question number three, highlight of the musical. For me, <laughs> it has to be this character here, Dawn. She is such a shy, tiny, fragile character and she's very awkward. And just to see her on stage, is it's just so humorous because she, I feel like we can all kind of relate to her. We're all awkward in life. Like no matter how confident you are, we all do things that are awkward when we're out in the public. Yeah, she's probably more awkward than me in real life, but like I just warm to her so, so much. Yes, obviously the main character, Jenna, does have like a huge story and kind of turns her whole life around, but all of the three main characters do, especially Dawn. She kind of comes out of a shell, she meets somebody, and I just love the way you see her confidence grow throughout the musical. Also, she sings one of my favorite songs ever from a musical, which is When He Sees Me, which, I just love. And when she sings it, she sings and performs and dances and gets tossed around the stage in all different directions. And yeah, that is definitely one of the highlights for me. I just love that song. And to see it perform live is just 
so good. Question number four, do I recommend? 100% yes. White Trust the Musical is so funny. I feel like I didn't, I was liked to the White Trust party. Me and P went to see it in the West End when it was <laughs> obviously everything closed in 2020. But like, I feel like it was towards the end of its run. So I didn't, I feel like I didn't really kind of listen to the album until like, December 2019. Very late to the party, but it is definitely one of them albums that we will now play in the car, we'll play, you know, while we're cooking. It's just got so many good songs that you love, like really upbeat ones, got really funny songs, it's got really sad songs, really powerful songs. Such a great album to listen to. The story, I love. I love that it's set in America. I love that it's set in a diner. There are so many, ah, oh, there are so many like things that happen on stage where she's baking, making pies, and people are like handing like different ingredients to her. And there's so many like little details that you think, how does she remember to like lift her arm here and get past the neck? How does she know to like put remember to put her arm here and get the whisk and put the flour over her? The choreography is just phenomenal. So yes, I highly recommend. And I know that a lot of friends and family are already booked to go and see it whilst it's here in Birmingham. And like always, I'll leave a link in the down bar below so you can check out if it's visiting a city near you. Last question out of five, how many would I rate this? 100% five stars. Let's say five pies instead, that's kind of more fitted. Again, it's such a great musical and story and just really brings home how important it is to have friends, have colleagues, have someone like a support that you can talk to. You know, if it's as deep as like domestic abuse or if it's, you know, just you're feeling anxious one day or you're overwhelmed with like workload, having a support group, however that looks, friends, family, colleagues, it's just so, so important and it can really change your whole life as it did for the three main characters in the show, as it does for people every day in the real world. So for me, that is why I would give it a five stars. Again, I just loved it. It's such a good, feel good musical and, um, and I really wanna go see it again. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Also comment in the box down below. Let me know, do you have tickets to go and see Waitress? Have you already seen Waitress? What are your thoughts on the musical? For me personally, it's definitely up there in the top five musicals that I just love. I'm gonna happily go and see it over and over again. If you aren't already, please hit that red subscribe button for more fun videos like this. And until next time, peace.